so a couple people, so th at this point we kind of go into general discussion. And so if you have anything you want to say or add, please do. Robin, I know you had your hand up at, yeah. at one point. Oh, s yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, I was going to say about a couple things, and, and I actually was thinking about the point. You brought up the Burger King games, yeah. and you were like, oh, why were they so downloaded? Like, why do people rush to buy them? They came out the first year of the Xbox 360. Ah. And in, it was like 2005, 2006 or whatever. For that year, those were the cheapest Xbox 360 games you could buy. <laughs> yeah, that's and what I wanted them. Everything else was like 60 yeah. bucks, and those were five. I don't remember if they were... They were probably free on Xbox Live. So, like, it, it made me think about... You know, you're like, I don't care what it is. It's free or it's the cheapest game I can buy. Like, I mm -hmm. just want my game. Totally. Yeah. And that made me think a lot about Check's Quest of just being like, what a moment it must have been for a kid to be like, wait, I get a free game. Yep. I yeah. should buy this cereal that we just buy all the time anyway, and we get a free game. Like, in the 90s, where you're so yeah. desperate. Yeah. No, yes, that's, ex <laughs> that's exactly what went through my head when I got it. I uh, uh, I also was in a house I was in a house where my parents didn't let me eat sugary cereals and were very concerned about violent video games and had like explicitly said like you're not getting Doom and you're not getting Mortal Kombat. And but they bought me a box of checks with Chex Quest in it. And it was like sort of yes like I didn't I, and then once I actually started playing it and realized what it was, it was like ha 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 like cheat the system. Mm-hmm. Also, yeah, far less expensive than other yeah. computer games. And totally. Just the uh, cost of a box of cereal. Yeah, yeah, the, bri the pro price of a box of cereal. Yeah. Yes. yeah we had uh, just Microsoft and Card and Chex Quest and there was no CD drive, so it was just... That's why that one was, like, never played, the one that Carl has. <laughs> <laughs> really? Was this the... Was this the? Was I the first person to actually put this in a computer? Yeah, and yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I couldn't afford a CD drive until I got to college. Uh, I was gonna play the end video, but this doesn't have a CD drive on it. Yeah, probably Well, y'all want to see the the ending cinematic? Yeah. yeah. Why not? We haven't earned eleven years. Oh, look at the user. It's uh, it's this guy, Manny Cab, who's like an important one of the mods, right? Yeah. Don't worry, just relax. I'll get you out of this gunk. Thanks. Okay. Let's make a break for it. Is this how it was in the game? Was it animated? No. Nope. Uh, this is how there. it is in the game. It's just a... Oh, no! <laughs> I don't think I ever beat it. <laughs> yeah. meant to be a fully animated and that they didn't get that didn't get there in time. I'm curious if these guys who made this game do anything else at all? Digital Cafe? Yeah. Uh, with the guys for the original guys? Uh, the guys who are modding it now and spending time doing I don't know. I just care. I don't know oh, yeah, yeah. the original guys who made it. Yeah. Uh, I don't really think so. Um, I think that um, well let's let's just see if we can <laughs> see, what see what happens. Oh wow! Yeah, this is a, a digital cafe. Did the did um, the Mystery Science Theater three thousand movies website? <laughs> uh, uh, and they did okay. They made some screensavers and stuff. A and E biographies for CD ROM. <laughs> Minnesota Zoo game. What? Virtual Cop and Virtual Cop Two. Oh, oh Tony Robbins. In the interview yeah. with yeah. Okay. So they've done some other stuff. The studio's done some other stuff. <coughs> um, 
Charles Jacoby is basically just done, um, basically just kind of like, you know, I think he works as a programmer somewhere, but yeah, he Scott like, Holden. yeah. Um, but I don't think he's, I don't think he's really worked on anything in terms of games. I don't think he's worked on anything other than Chex Quest and Chex Quest related projects. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Is there any other Doom mod that has this kind of life? Like, because there's just like a, there's like a short window there of like by the, by the end of the nineties, your people are building things on the Quake engine. Right. Like Half Life is Quake One is built on the Quake One engine, right? Or like or a spin off of it. So there would only be like like a couple year window where people would have done stuff with the Doom engine. And like, Duke Nukem is its own engine. Right. And, like, I think all the Apogee stuff, like Rise of the Triad, is a spin-off of the Wolfenstein engine. Right. So, I, is there anything, can anybody think of anything else where, like, somebody did make a commercial product with that with that engine? Or with Doom. All, it's, yeah, I think probably you were talking about this a little bit before we got started, but Super Noah's Ark 3D was like another. Oh place. yeah, that's yeah. that's well, that's the Wolfenstein engine, right? Oh, okay, okay. Hexen is <coughs> the Doom, right? Yeah, Hexen is the Doom engine. Um, What's interesting is when you download like GZ Doom or any of these modding softwares, like it'll come with like you know Doom One, Doom Two, and it will come with uh, Chex Quest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it won't come with the it won't come with the wad, but it'll come with a configuration a configuration right. option for it. There so will be a like, set, yeah. nothing like there isn't any like that's usually like the the couple things you get yeah um, and you don't get anything else. And the fact that when you download these modding software, it just comes you know like the, those configurations come with it. That really is, says something about it. That's true. I also suspect that more people have played Chex Quest than any other Doom mod, probably. Yeah. Uh, Doom itself. Probably. <laughs> <possibly. laughs> huh. I have only actually played Doom like a couple years ago, and I like had, like Chex Quest was like one of the couple computer games I owned as a kid. You play Doom and you're like, this looks like Chex Quest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like the beholders, yeah, I did have the <coughs> beholders, and then like the floating guys with the arms. I was like, oh, this is just a rip off of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember playing Chex Quest when I was a kid because I was got it about the cereal, and I was never, I never played it thinking that I was playing like a Chex advertising game. I was just like, oh, this is a fun game that I can play. Mm -hmm. and there were like crates that said checks on it, but you don't really read them. You're, it's mostly just Yeah, you like tend puzzle. to skip past them pretty quick. doesn't make you want to eat checks. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a puzzle slash first person shooter game. And I thought the level design was actually really good. The level design is really good. That's one of the reasons that it holds up is that like the, uh, it's like sort of, you know, I feel like it's kind of sheepish of them to say, like, like of Charles Jacoby to say like, well, it's just Doom with a facelift. The core gameplay is really good. That's why it's good. It's like, well, no, the maps are really good. And the sound design is really good, and the character design is really good, and the artwork's all, you know, the, all everything about it is really good. And, like, it transforms Doom, and it, it's a completely different... It, playing Chex Quest is a totally different experience than playing Doom. It transforms it in a very meaningful way. Um, uh, but, yeah, part of it is that the level design is great. Um, uh, I absolutely... If, 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 uh, if anybody here hasn't played Chex Quest 3, I absolutely recommend downloading it and playing it. Um, the levels in Chex Quest 3 are the best levels in the series. Um, the remastered Chex Quest 2 is also great. Like, sort of the... Uh, when they remade... When they put out Chex Quest 3, they fixed a lot of the problems that they had with Chex Quest 2 with the maps and the textures and stuff. And that game is also really good. Um, but Chex Quest 3 is a lot longer. Uh, they... Um, uh, it's... Um, the maps are all all take probably about almost twice as long to finish as the maps in the first two episodes do. Um, I think there's still five, maybe six maps. Uh, actually, may, it might be a full seven, but um, it takes it's a it's a much longer game either way, and it's harder. Um, but it's just it's great. Like 
Uh, Chex Quest 2 has this really, really funny um, art museum level where uh, there's all these uh, paintings, uh, painting version uh, 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 that are like sort of uh, recreating famous works of art, but as like serial people. <laughs> um, uh, that like, uh, there's like a, and then and there's some sculptures too. There's like a, and they, they, they pull some of those in and reuse them in uh, this level in Chex Quest 3 that's like, uh, uh, that's in a Tuscan villa that's been overrun by phlemoids. Uh, and so there's like a there's like a Chex Vitruvian man and like a Chex Mona Lisa and like a Chex David and a Chex Thinker and stuff. <laughs> Something that really shocked me as a kid, like I, I sat there feeling like I'd been slapped in the face. I don't know if anybody else ever encountered this in the game, and I'm assuming that it's a holdover from the original Doom. When you if you take over an hour to beat a level at the, the level completion screen for the time, instead of saying the time, it just says sucks. <laughs> <laughs> there are some... Yeah, no, there are some holdovers from the original game. You can actually... Chex Quest is... Um, Chex Quest uh, is five maps long, and Doom Episode 1 is, I think, seven maps long. And you, if you open up the, if you play it and like open up the console and just do the command to warp to a different map, you can play the last two levels of episode one of Doom, but with like the Chex characters. <laughs> brutal Chex quest, you remember that? Yes, there is a brutal Chex quest. What's that mean? Uh, so the brutal Doom mod is uh, Doom, but with the gore amped up, like, and someone made. Yeah, you, you can you can use the Brutal Doom mod with Chex as the base file, Chex Quest as the base file instead of Doom, and you get and so let's just let's pull it up because it's really funny. You get like the carrot like the flemoids like just explode when you shoot them and stuff. This is, ex it's, yeah, it's... I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I like that there's actual, bl that there's blood, too, like... Yeah, and real guns. Oh. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, the, the non-violent thing is kind of out the window at this point, yeah. right? It's but it is. Charming. It's It's, it's, it's pretty fun. <laughs> it's, uh... I like the little chunks of... Oh, on the ground. So, so here's a question for those of us who have not played Chex Quest yet. What's the best way to find it? Is ChexQuest.com the good yeah. version? If you go to ChexQuest.com, I think that one so, is Windows only, right? Or is it? Well, okay, I'll download it and I'll show you. What? Um, so notice that it actually just links you straight to Chuckropolis.com. <laughs> uh, so this is you're actually downloading the same zip that Char this is the same archive that Charles Jacoby posted in 2008. Um, it, you're just, it's just sort of like now General Mills gets a click. Um, but you can download it. Um, if you're on, um, uh, if you're on Windows, there's an executable in here that you can run. You can just run chexquest3.exe. Uh, if you're a Mac user, you'll need, um, John, do you have ZDoom on here? So there are multiple versions. Uh, I recommend using ZDoom, like the old one, because that's what this was built for. So you have to create, so in your application support folder under, uh, uh, you create a folder called ZDoom and this is where all your IWADs go. Um, IWAD is like a full, a full, is a WAD that has a full bootable version of the game. Um, so this is where like your Doom.WAD, your Doom2.WAD, etc. would go in here. But since all we're interested in right now is Chex3, we'll just put Chex3 in there. Um, the bit. .exe file? No, the WAD file, oh, the oh, .WAD. Oh, right, okay. Um, and so now I should be able to go, Yay! and there it is. And does this include the first two games? Yep, uh, so res T Rescue on Bazoink is the first game, <laughs> Terror in Czech City is the second oh. game, and Invasion is the third game. Oh, what's going on here? Does this have, uh, like, controller support? Uh, I think it does, yeah. Um, oh, it's glitching out. Yep. Oh, uh, cool. you, can, you can set that up, you can enable it. Um, I personally like just playing it with the default controls, like, just as it's, you know, as, 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 as it was meant to be originally played, yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so yeah, uh, you got Chex Quest on here now. <laughs> um, and it's that easy.